Hello, Paul Andrews here from G4 Guitar School Ashford and in today's Sunday Strummer we'll be looking at a brand new start by Paul Weller. Now it's a great song for G4 students of senior level one or junior level two kind of slash three. Basically you've got your open chords and you've got some eighth note kind of strum patterns. That's really what we'll be looking at in this song. So we'll do like we normally do, we'll look at the chords, then we'll break down different sections of the song and then put it all together and uh, look at the structure at the end. Right, let's zoom in and look at the chords. So the first chord we're going to look at is G, and there's first fret on the A string, second um, fret. So first finger, sorry, second fret on the A string, third finger, third fret on the E, the low E string six, and third finger on the high E fret three. And there's our G, and we're strumming all six strings. Next chord is D chord. We're going to do second fret on the G string, second fret on the high E or string one and third fret on the B string. And this is only a, five, a four string, sorry, chord. So D string down, this one. Next chord C. So we're going B1, D2, and then A3. And this is a five string chord, so from the A string down. And E minor is the next one. So we've got second fret on the A string, second fret on the D string. And this is all six. And there are chords, it's only a four chord strummer, so just to recap, we've got the G, we've got the D, and we've got the C, and we've got the E minor. So like before, get your fingers used to the accuracy of the shape, make sure they all sound nice and clean by picking through each string one at a time, make sure there's no dead notes or buzzes, be careful of finger placement, make sure it's close to the fret wire so we get rid of that kind of buzzing. And then start trying to move between and working on the reflex and trying to get these chords nice and quick. And I just realised I put in an extra chord there. I'm thinking of, um, yeah, Bob Dylan. <laughs> so yeah, sorry, C and E minor. So G, D and E minor is the first loop we're going to look at in a moment. So yeah, G, D, E minor, just practice moving between that. You don't even have to strum this, just get fingers used to the shapes. And then once you bring the strumming, obviously your left hand's going to be programmed and it should be as easy as that. The intro consists of a three chord loop, and we're doing G for half a bar, D for half a bar, then E minor for a uh, whole bar, sorry. So we're going G, two, then three, four for D, then one, two, three, four, E minor. It goes around twice, D, and then E minor. And that's basically that. Um, but he does do something a little bit extra than that. For the beginner, I'd recommend just one strum, just going through the chords. For more intermediate, we're going to look at basically arpeggio pattern he does. So when he does his G chord, he actually picks the notes from it. So he arpeggiates the chord. So you're doing the E, D, B, G. And that's your G chord. So we're doing the E, D, B, G. Then he goes to his D chord and does D, G, E, B. So we've got... Or G chord, E, D, B, G, D chord, D, G, E, B. Then he goes to his E minor, he starts with a hammer on. So he does open A string, hammers on to second fret of the A string, and he puts his finger down for the second fret of the D string. And then does open B and then G. And then A, D. So we got. second fret on the E string with the open G at the end. So go for this one, this chord's also a bit more involved this one. So we've got hammer on the A string, second fret, second fret on the D string, then we've got B, G, and then E, uh, sorry, A, D, and then E string, second fret, and finish with a G. So we get that. So you put that all together, you your G chord. like that. Again, don't worry if you find your picking goes. Mine did a couple times there. Um, as long as you're getting that kind of basic idea, it will work. I think that's a bit better. And it'll sound pretty cool. So yeah, it might take a little while of playing around with arpeggios to really get that kind of intro going. But there you go, that is the intro. Okay, so let's look at the verse of the song. And the um, song is basically made up of verses. There's seven verses in the song. And it goes G for half a bar, D for half a bar, E minor for a whole bar. Just like we saw in the intro, but that goes around three times. G, D, E minor. 
minor, G, D, E minor, and then G, D, C. So fourth time round, you're replacing your E minor with a C chord. That's the first verse. Second verse comes in exactly the same, but it does two bars of C on the end. The third verse it starts off like verse one, G, D, E minor three times, then G, D, C. And it goes through a bit of a change on the end. It does G, D, and it goes to C, but it's quite an interesting rhythm. It goes one and two and. So for those who know um, rhythm reading, it's a dotted quarter note. So we go one and two and. So counting one and two and, then we're missing out the three, and then change to a D chord. So it goes one and two and three, and a four E and a. So we've got 16th notes. And a four E and a. So we start starting on the three and. Three and a four E and a. So nice and slow, that was a one and two and three and a four E and a. One and two and three and a four E and a. The next bar, we then strum, go back to C and strum on the one and. One and. Then two and is a D. One and two and three and a four E and a. So again on the end, we've got that and a four E and a. So those two bars go one and two and three and a four E. A little bit slower. One and two and three and a four E and a one and two and three and a four E and a. We then do that second bar again. And, and a four E and a. And it finishes just with two, well, two strums of C. It does one strum of C and then one kind of open, which is the one and two and. And it goes back into his G chord. So that section again, we got start off with a G. basically going around verse one again. So in regard to strum pattern, we can just do basically eighth notes, one and two, and I'd say all downs, one and two, and three, and four, and the reason we're gonna do all downs is because it sounds quite cool doing a quick little down up on the end. So it'd be like a down, 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 down up on your G. One and two, and a three, and four, and a one, and two, and a three, get the right chord. <laughs> so yeah, again, I'm thinking of, um, Bob Dylan there, thrown in an A minor. So yeah, two and a three and a four and a G, D, E minor. Three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a. So it's quite a nice strum pattern. Down, 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 down up basically on the G. Down, 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 down up on your D. On your E minor, down, 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 down up. So that work really nice throughout the song. Um, and then that is verse three, as I said. Um, that strum pattern will work well over all the verses. And then the only other section we have are instrumentals, which are basically just verse one. And um, verse one is just one bar of C on the end. And then on verse seven, right at the end there, uh, the only thing that changes does G, D, E minor again. And then he does his G, D, and C, one bar. Let's run that again. G, D, C, and then G, D, C. And it does that for two bars of the C, and finish with G. So it's three times around the G, D, and C on the end of the last verse, and you do two bars of the third time around that G, D, C. So two bars of C, and then you end back on your G. Okay, so let's talk about how the song basically fits together, the structure. And we start off with the intro. Again, you could do the arpeggios if you wanted to. Or just do a strum. And the strum could just be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. However you want to do it, you know, keep it held back a little bit. And then when you start coming to verse, maybe start bringing some of those more quickest kind of down strums. And then we bring those quick little up strums we talked about. Down, down, up, down, 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 down. Basic trick is once you know where your chords are, you outline the changes, is then you can do what you like with the right hand. Obviously within reason, make sure it's obviously appropriate to the style of music and fits in with the song. So we've got the intro, we again go around verse one, which was the one C on the end. 
So G, D, E minor three times, and then G, D, C. Verse two was G, D, E minor three times, G, D, C, and you do the C for two bars. And verse three had that extra section on the end. That section just fits on after kind of the loop of verse one, if you like. So verse three is very similar to verse one. It does one bar of C, then it has this G, D, then that on the end of it. Verse four is the same as verse one. We do one bar of C. Verse five, we do two bars of C. And verse six is actually the same as verse three, where we do this extra bit on the end. And then verse seven, we have that slight difference on the end where it does the G, D, C, like verse one, but then repeats the G, D, C. G, D, C. So it goes out three times, and the third time does two bars of C. And it finishes with one strong G. And that's the song. The only thing I actually missed out was the instrumental sections. And the instrumental, instrumental sorry, or solo, it's the way it does a guitar solo, is just verse one. And that comes in after he's done his verse three and after he's done his verse six. So we have these extra kind of sections, instrumentals, where he just basically does say verse one. And there we go, there is the whole song. So again, a great little strummer, really good, a kind of, I say beginner song. It can be a bit tricky as some of strum pads are trying to see it, the chords changing, but it's definitely a junior or, sorry, level two, three, or senior level one kind of a song. So yes, there we go. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Any questions, let me know below. And yeah, I'll see you next week for another Sunday Strummer.